My end dimension is sickening. I literally have no clue how I got this bat. But today we're gonna transform it into the entire universe. Okay, you're probably wondering what the plan is. So first, I wanna remove all 40,000 obsidian by hand. Then I'd like to remove the entire end island by using TNT bombing machines. After that, I plan on collecting over 400,000 blocks to build a massive pixel art of the entire Milky Way galaxy. This is not going to be easy. And if you enjoy the video, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any new content. First of all, if we're gonna be in the end for who knows how long, endermen are definitely going to be an issue. If I just get some pumpkins and then carve them out, Okay, I forgot that it's impossible to see. I just downloaded a texture pack that should fix it all. Yep, that looks pretty good. Now, if this entire island is going to go, I'm gonna need some haste to mine it faster. I just realized that once this island is gone, I will never be able to respawn the ender dragon again. We should probably collect as much dragon's breath as possible because it's gonna become impossible after this project. So then I need some end crystals. Next, a bunch of bottles for dragon's breath, then some redstone stuff. I'd like to collect something called an immortal crystal. Time to respawn the dragon. Well, this is one of the last times we'll ever see this. The dragon just launched its fire. Here, bottles. I'd like to get a full shulker of dragon's breath. So we might be here for a while. Oh my gosh, this is so much better. That is almost enough. Wait, no. That almost killed me. Okay, no, we are killing the dragon now. Now that we have all of the dragon's breath, we should get the immortal crystals. Basically, when the entered dragon is respawning, if you use pistons to push these crystals, then they become immortal and keep the laser beams. We're gonna be using this simple flying machine to push the crystals. Um, why is that not working? That's better. Now the entire machine needs to be built. So then if I just place the crystals again and respawn it, let's quickly run over here and flick this lever. Is, is it working? Nice, great, it is moving the first crystal. Now before the dragon respawns, bow that and boom. We got the first crystal and look at this, if I punch it, it will never explode and it's just gonna stay there forever. I would now like to get three more of these. Okay then, that is everything I wanted from the dragon, so I guess we can move on to the second part, which is removing all of the obsidian. Oh man, this is going to be a grind. I just did a couple of layers and want to try another tactic. If we sit here and mine straight down, then I can just hold my auto clicker. I'm a little afraid to try this because it's definitely more risky. If I forget about the mining, then I could fall right into the void. I spent about four and a half hours mining this pillar, and now we are on the final row. The final block. Oh man, that was definitely a little bit scary. But after mining one of the 10 pillars, I collected about 9,000 obsidian. I think it would be best to save it, honestly, because we'll probably use it later. The second pillar done, third done, Fourth done. This is interesting. I didn't finish mining all of the pillars, but that's because I actually want to begin removing the island at the same time. So when I mine the final pillars, everything disappears at once. So first of all, that means we're going to need to get rid of all of the bedrock around the island. There's a little trick I saw. If we place some blocks and then light this up. Perfect. It still works. So then we need to repeat this. Now, getting underneath this portal is going to be a little more tricky. This setup should be able to break the bottom pieces of bedrock. Oh, I went through the portal. Attempt to. Yes, that actually worked. Then all of these need to go. And that should be it for the center end portal. That means we can move on to the removal of the end island. And for this, we're gonna use TNT bombing machines, which require a bunch of redstone. Slime, redstone blocks, pistons, glass, minecarts, and TNT. Let's go ahead and build the machine. If I break this redstone block, it should all start up. So when we're finishing everything else up on the island, it's gonna slowly start to remove all of this end stone. Wait, I just realized when the machine passes over these portals, won't the TNT explode back into the machine? I might have a solution. If we place some water on top of these portals. Okay, now what about all the water on the ground? 
Now the TNT will go into the water and not explode the machine. This has got to be repeated 19 more times. And done. That's the portal part finished. Now these machines are starting to get close, so let's get rid of the final pillars. Here is the ninth pillar done. And finally the tenth pillar. This is the last block of obsidian. Unbelievable, I am so glad to be done. Look at my statistics now, over 80,000 total mined obsidian. That means there was over 40,000 obsidian in all of the pillars combined. This is really great as well. The machines have already cleared most of the island away. However, when it's finishing up, I wanna try to remove all of the bedrock around these gateways. It only took the machines a couple of hours to remove most of the island. Now I think it's time to get rid of this Enderman farm. Honestly, mining this is gonna take ages because for some reason I decided to use iron to build it. How much TNT do we have left? That should be enough for now. I think we should just fill this place to the brim. How did that even happen? I literally could have died there. I'm gonna be much more careful next time. Let's just light this up. Amazing, now the Enderman farm is entirely gone. I think I'll just AFK the rest of this and I'll let you know once it's all finished. The machine has gotten to the final couple of rounds and look at all of the Endermen. I guess they have nowhere else to live. I'm gonna just remove the final couple of blocks by hand. This is the last block of the entire end island. I definitely wanna save that for the future museum we're gonna build. The entire island is gone. That took over 30 hours to remove. If you remember before, the island looked like this, but now with everything gone, it's time to build the universe below it. Now the tricky thing about this universe is that it has over 390,000 total blocks, some of which like this 24,000 coal or 67,000 black wool are gonna be insanely difficult to collect. Kinda wanna be lazy and start on the easy items. So, rooted dirt, polished granite, cyan terracotta, woods, calcite, mushroom blocks, quartz, strangely note blocks and jute boxes, iron, more terracotta. These next two are gonna be kinda tricky. I'm gonna need 596 tough blocks and 740 clay. As long as we go into a portal with the 1.18 generation, it should be easy enough to find a lush cave where both of these blocks will be. Yes, this is just what I needed. Now we need to get some more terracotta, polished deep slate, stone bricks, and cobble. This is gonna be a pain. I need to collect 985 dead coral blocks. This coral reef might not be large enough, but let's try to see how many we can get here. I literally mined every yellow coral block here. Let's hope there are enough of them here. And now these just need to become dried. This should be satisfying. Let me just pick these up again and we can move on. Next up, I need 1,042 acacia wood blocks. How many saplings do we have? Yeah, this should work. Let's get some bones and... Now these gotta be chopped. Okay, that's enough. These next ones shouldn't be too difficult. More deep slate, smooth basalt, chiseled deep slate, andesite, deep slate bricks, gray wool, light gray wool, warped stems, cracked stone bricks, smooth stone, and cold ore. As much as we've already collected, this isn't even a tenth of all of the required blocks. I next need 3,323 obsidian. Do you think we have enough obsidian? Probably not. Gosh, 3,400 polished basalt. I guess it's time to run the basalt farm again. I literally left the room for five minutes to make some food when this happened. No, I just came back and saw it break. I was starting to experience boredom from collecting the thousands of items, but at least it was time to take a break and build a few farms. I need an absolutely stupendous amount of black wool, 67,472 to be exact. I don't think this sheep farm is gonna be fast enough. 
I might have a solution though. There's a really fast farm design by Il Mingo that should make over 20,000 wool per hour once it's done. The issue is that to make this farm, we are going to need to collect another massive list of items. This should be all of the required redstone. Now we're gonna need over 1200 glass for this farm. I think the best way to get this will be to trade with villagers for it. Okay, now 1400 white concrete, 1520 powered rails. I built this farm over here that makes an absolutely insane amount of rails. I was not kidding when I said insane. Finally, to finish up this farm, we're gonna need 4,962 grass blocks. Okay, we are ready to build the farm. Oh, wait a minute. I literally forgot the most important part, sheep. This farm I wanna build is going to include 512 sheep. That sounds insane, but I really don't know any other way to get that much wool. Will the baby also have black wool? Okay, that's good. I just realized this is gonna require a huge amount of wheat. Okay then, it's time to build the farm. I wanna make sure to breed the sheep every five minutes to make sure they're enough. Isn't this how another hardcore YouTuber lost his world? This block should finish the farm. Now we just need to get the sheep in. Okay, how can this be done 512 times as easily as possible? Come here, sheep. Okay, good. Rails? Yes, okay, get in. No, yes. Time for the second sheep. This is taking way too long. I have a better idea. What if we use these rails here to create a loop, and if we use this activator rail to bump the sheep off, then they should fall right into their pen. Here comes the next sheep. Okay, yes, get in. Yes, great, perfect, nice. This is working really well. I suppose it still needs to be repeated 500 more times. That is the entire first row done. It did take about an hour. This is insane how many shears need to go into this system. This farm made like 10,000 wool in just the time it took to build it. I'm thinking that because of this, I should only put half of the sheep into the farm to save time. I'm gonna just AFK overnight and hopefully in the morning there should be enough wool stored up. It was a successful AFK session, everyone. There is way more than enough wool in here. So let's move on to the next item. We need about 27,000 blackstone. There are two main methods of collecting blackstone. Method one, we mine it. In small quantities, I think that's better. But for such a huge amount, I think option two, bartering with piglins will be much better. I have just the farm to make. This farm is by ENX04. I'll just have to AFK up here for a little while and wait for 256 piglins to spawn down below. Let me just get a bunch of gold while I'm here. Now let's check on the farm. Oh my gosh, that's loud. Okay, I don't quite know how this works, but I think if I throw the gold in there, Wow, that's a lot of items. Then I'm pretty sure we just need to load the items into the shulkers and repeat until there's enough blackstone. Oh my gosh, this is becoming a very risky episode. And it's been a few hours, but this should be all of the blackstone needed. There are only two more items required. The first is 21,000 black concrete. Fortunately, from the last project, I already have more than enough black concrete powder, so let's just convert it. And that should be all the concrete we need. Now for the easiest part of collecting, 195,741 black stained glass. That was sarcasm. I literally have no clue where to even begin. I spent a few hours researching and I know what we're gonna do. I want to build the ultimate sand farm and then we're gonna cook all of it. The sand farm is gonna produce 144,000 per hour. But once again, it requires a massive list of items to build. Yeah, more redstone stuff, concrete, slime. You've seen this before, let's just build it. Perfect, the farm should work. Um, the farm did not work, I fixed it. Now if we jump through the end portal, yes, it works. Oh wait, I need a way to collect all of the blocks. Now as we wait for the sand to be made, let's actually take a trip to the Wither Rose Farm. We're gonna need a ton of black dye to stain all of the glass. So... And that should be enough of everything. Now all of this sand needs to be cooked into glass. Finally, all of this needs to be crafted into black stained glass. 
This is it. I have collected 400,000 different items. This took days to get everything. Now all that has to be done is to build the entire galaxy. Now that we're in the end, I'd like to first make a platform to store all of our shulker boxes. I suppose it's time to begin. We need some blocks here, more here, some here. And after several hours of placing blocks, I was done with day one of building the galaxy. It's the next day, and I came up with a strategy that if we first do the outside blocks and move to the inside, it might be faster. Honestly, this isn't too bad. It's just taking a long time. It's day three of building, and I think we're gonna finish today. I mean, this is seriously coming along. I cannot wait to see the end result. These are the final couple of blocks. I wish I could celebrate, but before I get too tired, all of the glass needs to go on top of the entire thing to keep the Enderman from spawning. So... Halfway done. That took about four hours to do that much. So just another four and this entire project should be finished. I cannot believe all of my work is almost done. Only a few more blocks and... The entire galaxy, 400,000 blocks. It's so huge you can literally see the outer islands from here. I have a plan to put a massive ship up there somewhere, and mark my words, it will be the coolest thing you have ever seen. But that's for next time. If you'd like to see that, please consider subscribing and clicking the notification icon so you make sure you don't miss out. It'd be kind of funny if I just respawned the Ender Dragon, which would respawn the Obsidian Pillars and destroy all of my work.